What's up, good people? I hope that you all are doing amazingly well on this absolutely marvelous Monday, baby. It's good to be here. It's good to be seen and not viewed. Hello, somebody. For those of you who are new to me, I want to welcome you once, twice, three times. You are welcome. If you have been rocking with me, you know I appreciate you. Thank you for rocking with me the way that you do. You know I love you. And if you are watching a replay, simply put replay in the comment bar. To let me know that you slid through to come and check your girl out, right? But right now we are live and in color. Come on in the room. Come on in the room, honey. I'm glad that you're here. I am your girl, comedian, the key to be your hope, dealer, your purpose pusher. According to my drunk uncle, I am Googleable, baby. Google me. Comedian, the key to be. But baby, I'm more than funny. I'm also a nurse consultant. I'm also, a biz and brand strategist for those who desire to start or those who are emerging and going to their next level. I'm a whole bunch of stuff, but what's important to you today is I'm here to encourage and motivate you on this Motivational Monday. There's a whole lot of goodness that go on with this little country girl. What up, though? I hope that you guys are doing amazingly well. Y'all, listen, so... uh. This lady, she was doing some stuff, right? She was doing some stuff and she was talking and, you know, I was interested a little bit. You know what I mean? I was interested a little bit in what she was doing. Have y'all ever experienced this though? You was interested in what somebody was doing or what they had or what they had going on and you might have invested and then when you invested, you was like, oh, I want my money back. Oh, they ain't do, mm -mm. I was expecting something different. Have you ever went through that? If you have, put yes in the comment bar. What's up, good people? What up, what up, what up? You know what I said I was going to do different? Um, You know, starting now. <laughs> start now. We always say we're going to start on Monday and Monday never come. We always say we're going to start at the top of the year. The top of the year come, we end up at Christmas still doing the same thing. Huh? But what I said I was going to start doing differently was I was going to talk a little more about myself. You understand? Like, why would you talk a little more about yourself? Because y'all really don't know me. You know what I show you. Huh? Not only do you know what I show you, you know what I exemplify. You know what I present. But there are a lot of hidden treasures that people don't know about. Then when they find out, oh, I didn't know you do that because I ain't dead. And then you have to ask yourself, why have I not told a person? Why have I not really just been out here in all of the awesomeness that he has blessed me with? You understand? Because I'm telling you, he created a beast when he created me. Lord, I thank you. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. Right? But, um... Being able to um, sit around people, listen to people, get clear like that, be able to help people strategize and get to where they need to be, being able to help people build structure and systems and things like that. Like, hey, when you think that what you're doing is small, you think that what you're doing, it really don't matter. I mean, I do this all the time and all this other stuff, baby. I promise you what you do, somebody else cannot. And even the ones that can, they can't do it like you. Huh? She ain't got the moves like I do. Y'all remember that song? Hey! See, uh, 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 uh. I know y'all real sage. Y'all ain't never heard that. She out there carrying her to. Hey! Make somebody talk that girl. And that ain't what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about whatever your move is. Hey, whatever your move is, your move might be cooking, your move might be styling, your move might be doing hair, your move might be real estate, your move might be teaching, your move might be speaking, whatever your move is, honey, I don't know what your move is, but they can't do it like you, you the one scared to move, right, but anyway, so, y'all, this lady, she was like, um, I'm going to show you how to do this without doing that. And I was interested because I was like, yeah, I want to do this. And I don't want to have to do that. Boom. Got into it. Promise you. Listen to me. Promise you. What she was teaching, me and her have to have the same teacher. We had to have the same coach in this aspect of things. Was the same exact thing. Like, I knew what she was going to say. But she said it in her own way. Right? 
but it was so slow for me. It was slow for me. It was a lot of mess ups. It was a lot of, um, like I could just pick out a whole bunch of stuff that just did not allow it to flow the way that it need to. It didn't allow it to, um, I, it wasn't, uh, it was engaging, but it was annoying a little bit to me. Okay. A little bit to me, but what did I tell y'all? Everybody ain't for, everybody ain't for you and you ain't for everybody. Right. Then I checked myself. I said, Oh, uh, sister girl, you the one. That was like, yeah, I want it. And you took your behind in there. Now sit down, right? I'm in your house. I'm going to sit down. Then what else did I notice? I said, Keita, just look. Because I'm. that's what I do. You know, as a nurse, we will assess something. Baby, I meet you for the first time. You said I'm there with a knot or something. And I can't get focused and stuff. Because I'm going to ask you, did you know it was there? And I'm trying to see if it's palpable or if, if, if it moves, if, if it's hard. Is it, you know, irregular? You know, I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. So I say, stay focused, Keita. In her comments, people were saying, good information. I'm so glad that you did this. I'm so excited to what you have to offer next. And in my head, I'm like, for what? But then at the end of it, it was like, eh, eh, what you mean for what? Because she did it. Because she started. Because what's up, Monty? How are you, sugar? Because she took what she had, started where she was, and she was like, boom, I'm going to do this. <laughs> do you want this without having to do that? And I was like, yes. And got in there. I'm like, no. But guess what? For the ones that she spoke to, that understood the way that she taught, understood the way that she, you know, did. And I thought about it like this, too. Do you know? Huh? Do you know how many people are afraid just to get started? Do you know how many people, if they blunder or if they um, get in there and they mess up or they do whatever, they just shut down or either they'll be like, see, I messed up and I ain't going to do it and blah, 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 and all that other kind of stuff. Baby, by the end of it, I didn't even want what she was offering. I bought it just so I could support her. Like, sis, you keep going. You keep going. You keep showing up. You keep doing what you're doing. And not only that, can I be all the way real with you? Somebody tell me that I can be real with you. Somebody put be real in the comment bar. And this was when it really, oh, it checked my fresh on this one. Somebody put be real in the comment bar. Somebody put be real in the comment bar. This going to step on some of y'all toes too because I knew, honey, I had to go and change shoes. My feet hurt. They said, be real, Nikita. You know they mean it when they put your name in there. Baby, listen. I'm going to be, like my son say when he hot, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100. 100? 100? Oh, okay. I'm going to keep it 100, baby. The same thing that she was taught, I was taught. I don't know her at all. And I made it my business to look at other people who don't look like me, don't sound like me, and don't talk like me, just to see how you do it, how you roll, you know, because you can learn something from everybody. Babies, I learned so much from her. Number one, she started, period. What you did, Keita? I got all them books down there with a bunch of highlighted, uh, I done bought every color highlighted there is and done wrote notes on the side like it's your Bible and you write your little side notes and cliff notes and stuff like that, like you studying for exam and they ain't did jack with it, huh? She already started. The system that she's teaching, although it's not for me, she's teaching the same system that I will be teaching. I'm just going to be teaching it in my own way. Baby, she already in there. She, baby, interest, she got people interest because she got mine. You understand? She got mine and the people that's in there, they going through whatever it is that they need to have to get what she has to offer. So she doing something right, period. And when she going through strategizing, she talking to she, but it was so cute though. She couldn't say, what was the word? Reciprocity. And you know good and well, I ain't finna pick it the way nobody's pronounced nothing, honey, my country behind. Because I'll be in there, baby, saying lunch. And people think I'm, to, I'm finna go to lunch. I'm like, lunch? Uh, lunch? I'll never forget. 
We was in this big meeting and y'all, your girl was together. Do you hear me? When I say I was together, I was together, honey. I had fresh hair. My God, huh? The face was beat. It wasn't real heavy or whatever. It was just enough to let them know I didn't come to play. Huh? Had on my little outfit, honey. I had on the outfit that said, this is mine. Huh? I had on the shoes. You know what I'm saying? You know, blessed are the feet that carry the gospel. My God, my, my feet was blessed. Baby, I went in there with a breastplate of righteousness. I wasn't playing. I ain't got much, honey, but they were sitting up. Huh? I was together. Y'all see these teeth? Woo I made sure I had on a lip color. It was going to make them teeth just glistening, honey. I brushed them twice. I wasn't playing games. I was so nervous. When I tell you I was nervous, I was nervous. I was the only one that looked like me in that piece. Baby, my insides was doing this. <clears throat> That's what my inside was doing. I was like, Lord, please don't let it make no noise. Don't make no noise now. This is not no time to have no loose booty. Because I got to be in here with these people. My God, my little nerd. My little nerd. So I'm in there. Baby, there was one particular heifer across the table. I don't know if she was my competition. She may have been. Now that I think about it, maybe other people were in there trying to pitch themselves or whatever, and I was going to represent this particular company. And y'all, every time I would say certain stuff, she would always want to act like she was an English teacher. Huh? She would, excuse me, uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, could you repeat that? She kept doing that. She kept doing that. She kept acting like we was at a drive through and I was placing the order and she didn't understand. First of all, I ain't even talking to you, ma'am. You know, that's what I'm saying in my head. It made my anxiety go upper. <laughs> my anxiety raised up. I was like, oh my God. Because you know, whenever you're self-conscious about a thing, you will start talking yourself out of stuff. You will start, you know, feeling bad and you'll start doing all of this other silly stuff that we do. And I couldn't do it in there. Why? Because y'all know I didn't come to play. <laughs> huh? Y'all know I came with it together. Huh? Baby, when I came in the room, they was like, who's that lady? Who's that lady? Hey, yeah. Baby, I make noise when I open in my mouth. Do you understand me? So I'm in there. Y'all, I'm so nervous. I'm talking about my anxiety. I'm like, Lord, I'm sweating under my arms. I'm that kind of nervous. My hands sweating. I'm that kind of nervous. And this heifer keep coming out of the mouth, want me to repeat my words like I'm asking for a definition for a spelling bee or something. So I'm just like, oh, God. Y'all, it got to the point where I was like, um, I was like, yeah, and then when we get to that point, it'll be, it will be at the point that we're ready to launch. So, you know, we can go to, we can go and do the launch and then we'll be able to, you know, I was going through the whole thing, right? This heifer going to say, wait, 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 before you go any further, why she interrupted me? That's what I'm saying in my head. Before we go any further, then she flickered me. Did you butterfly me, ma'am? Did you just butterfly me though? Right? But you know, you can't do that and these people play. Before we go any further, are you saying lunch or are you saying lunch? Y'all, I hadn't had it to hear. Baby, I turned around with good posture. <laughs> you, I said, ma'am, if I was to tell you that I'm about to launch over this desk and thunder slap you, would you think that I was talking about? How, excuse me, y'all. May I help you? No, I just wanted to say hey. You want to say hey and you heard me talking about it. I'm just not talking about launching over something, thunder slapping somebody. And you want to come in the door, sir? You want to get what that woman was going to get? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. I don't want no feather slap. Okay. I just came to say hey. You just came to say hey. Well, hello. Yes, and I heard you asleep. Yeah, okay. That's, that's why I just came in to say hey oh. and good morning from your sleep. Oh, good morning. Yeah, see what I'm talking about when you don't really have nothing to say, sir. You just want to come in. Anytime you can tell somebody good morning at 5 o'clock quitting time, you ain't had nothing to say. Yeah, yeah. Let, listen to what the Lord is telling you. I know he's telling you to get out. I know that's what he's telling you. You better follow his word. So, y'all, I asked her, 
I said, if I told you that I was getting ready to lunch over this table and thunder slap you, would you duck or would you be expecting a sandwich? <laughs> Hello, which one would you do? Baby, and when I said it, smiling, you're you going to get all these. Because you know if I had them, they would have thought that, oh, that's intimidating. No, I just... <laughs> You know, that's how they do when they got money, honey. They, they laugh like they cold. <laughs> oh, child, please. Baby. Baby, listen. The whole room got quiet. Baby. The whole room got quiet like that little church song. I said, hush, hush. Hush, hush. Yeah, I'm calling me. You call me? Baby, when that happened, I was able to finish what I was doing. And guess who got it at the end? Hey, 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 hey. Yes, man, I got a follow-up email and everything. We heard you did an amazing job. Oh, thanks. Please, quit playing with me. Okay, quit, quit playing with me. Baby, woo, and that's what was laid in my lap whenever I was thinking about when I was in that lady class and stuff. Baby, I'm talking about, I said that baby, her on the arms probably sweating, her hands probably sweating, and then you got somebody like me in the room calling myself critiquing something. I wish I would critique something. I wish I would have the audacity to say, I, I, and I hadn't even did what it is I supposed to be doing. So baby, I'm, I'm here to tell you, do it even if you do it wrong. How about that? Because wrong may be the definition or the description of what somebody else had, but to the person who needed, you did it just right. Oh my, oh my. Wrong may be the definition that the person uses that is not going to work with you anyway. They're not going to be uh, partnering with you anyway. So you keep doing what you're doing because number one, she showed up. Number two, she really did. She had the strategy. She had the steps. She was writing it out on her little board. I said, you better write on your board, Suge. You better get them look more. Baby, please leave me alone. You better get them look. Mar I can't wait to put on a little skirt suit, honey, and get my little marker out and then do all that little extra moving when I'm writing. I know it don't take all that to write. Why are you thrusting yourself when you write? <laughs> I can't wait to go up there and circle something and draw an arrow and then put a line under it so you know that's the answer. Please leave me alone. I can't wait. I can't wait. Huh? I, I can't. I can't wait. I just can't. It's going to be amazing. It's what it's going to be. It's going to be so exciting. So what I need y'all to understand is this. Baby, you better do it, whatever your it is. You better show up for yourself because when you show up for yourself, baby, you're going to show up for somebody else. Baby, then she was like, oh my God. Y'all, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. We have made it to 60 people in the group. Yay! I was like, we made it to 60 people in the group. Yay. And here I am thinking to myself, I'm at 600 and something thousand followers on Facebook. I'm trying to get to a million. But I was like, I'm trying to get to 650, get to that mark, so then I can keep on building and doing and whatever. And here I am trying to figure it out and trying to, oh, and all of this other kind of stuff. Sis, sis over there like, baby, I got 60 people. Yes, let's get it. Had to look, the little things that you, you know, doing your little celebration stuff, the celebratory things. She's doing all of that. And I was like, Keita. If you don't get your country behind somewhere, celebrate, baby, because she started at zero. And when you start at zero and you don't really have all the faith that you need and you doing it scared, baby, getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, baby, it's huge. 
please, it's huge. Because not only is it six people, but none of them are her family and friends. That's amazing. Then I thought to myself, this is the same stuff you be teaching your people, Kita. You be telling them, start everybody start at zero and to make sure that you celebrate small wins. Make sure that you keep on showing up for yourself. And then what I'm thinking was this, though, guys. I was thinking that the way that she presented, that it was going to be a different process whenever you got on the inside. But... What I see now is that she presented very well. She presented even though she was afraid and she really talked herself up. But then whenever it was time to perform, she performed underneath her positioning. So now she has to build the confidence on the inside once people get in the same way she did on the outside when she gave the invitation. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, yeah, she, uh, more people going to come. And there's going to be some people that's going to fall off because in their mind, they're going to feel like, you know, I need to level up with what it is that I need or what it is that a person is available, uh, able to give me. But in reality, guess what? The same thing she teaching them babies that she teaching, it's the same thing that I'm going to be teaching people. I'm just teaching on a different level because I'm teaching it different. My structure is different. The way that I communicate is different. The way that I'm able to, um, you know, dissect things, the way that I'm able to get you to see things and pull it together, it's just different. And that's what makes us who we are. We are different. We're different. So what you need to stop doing, <clears throat> you need to stop trying to be just like somebody else. Now, it's okay for you to model people that have been successful that has been successful. It is okay for you to model what they do and how they do because that's how everybody do. That's why the Bible tells you there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. Because this has been done before. But every time somebody else do it, they may do something a little different. They may do something better. Or they might screw it up. You understand? But the point of the matter is, everything has been done before. So why try to create something brand new from the beginning, from the start? No. You model what has already been done. And then you put in place you. And you, you will be what makes it different. You will be the reason why people will see it different. You will be the reason why somebody will be drawn to you because it's something about you that they like. Bada boom, bada bang. So at the end of the day, well, I was like, man, she messed that up because it should have been blah, blah, blah. And then it was like, kid, if you don't shut up, it shouldn't have been blah, 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 blah. It was exactly what she wanted to be. That's how she wanted to do. That's how she wanted to rock it. And guess what? The people who were in the comments loved it. It was for the people that she had set out for. You're going to attract people. Not everybody going to continue to rock with you because it's going to be a way you say something. It's going to be a way that you do something or whatever, and they're going to fall off. Let them fall off. Oh, well, it's going to be all right. You, but you continue on. You continue on showing up. You continue on letting your personality, because she had a nice personality too, and that helped a lot. And even to the point she was like, um, I'm trying to do, she said something about, I'm trying to do something um, with, what was it? She was, um, what you say? Honest, you don't have to DM me. I ain't going to remember to DM you. If you underneath me, though, if you on my team, then you should be in a group. You should, whatever you need help with, put it in a group. So the thing about it was this. The people that she was there serving, they understood her message. They understood what it was she was doing. Even when she couldn't get the word, she said it right one time. And then she tried to say it again. She was like, well, I done said it one time. And I was like, yes, yeah, sis, you are, we know what you meant. You know what I'm saying? And she didn't allow it to stop her. And she continued to move on. Baby, you got to stop allowing things to stop you and continue to move on. You can't change the way that you look. You can't change the way that you sound. When I say the way that you look, you know, some people be caught up with stuff. They be like, I just feel like my eyes too far apart. 
Oh, uh, I feel like my lips too big. I feel like my ears sit back too far. Child. Well, if you don't get your spaced out eyes, your juicy lips, and your backwards ears somewhere and keep it moving, that's what you're going to have to do. Because that's what you got to see with. That's what you got to uh, uh, do whatever with with your little mouth on it. And, and, and that's what you're here with. So let's keep it moving. Let's get past that. Okay? You better wear you a swoop on one of the eyes so they can't uh, measure between them. And then make sure it cover your ears or something or whatever. And, 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 and just keep it moving is what I'm saying. You're getting caught up with the wrong thing. You're getting caught up with the wrong thing, okay? I need you to show up. I need you to do it even if you mess it up. Because guess what? The more you mess it up, the better you will get at it. Point blank, period. Okay? Point blank, period. Y'all doing too much and not enough at the same time. You're doing too much and not enough at the same time. What's up, um, what's up, the wrong, what's up, sis? That, that's what I'm saying. Like, right now, y'all know I got that seven-day series, right, for fear. You need to copy you a copy. Because y'all going around here being scared to do stuff because of silly reasons. Being scared because, oh, I feel like they might reject me. They rejected Jesus. Huh? They they rejected Jesus. I, so I, I'm pretty sure they're going to reject you. Okay? Count it all joy to be rejected. Oh, I don't think that I'm going to have support. I'm afraid I'm not going to have support. Baby, sometimes you got to create your own support system. Okay? If you're looking for support from the ones that you have to support, what sense does that make anyway? Please and thank you. Please and think, oh, I'm afraid of failing. Baby, this won't be the first time. This won't be the first time, so don't get up here because you're grown and act like you ain't never made no mistake before. Let's get through it now. I can't afford to make mistakes and to fail because I have children and I'm a single parent and I'm not. Well, we made a mistake when we chose that father. Huh? The, the chap's still here. They gonna see that mama made mistakes but guess what? She kept it moving. She learned from them. She kept pushing. Stop it. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect and your babies won't be perfect either. What you do not want to instill in them is that you need to be so afraid of things that you don't go after what it is that you desire. Stop the madness. Because baby, you are amazing. Period. You are. But because you don't believe it, you never get the you know, you never get to that point. That's just what it is. Oh, I'm afraid of success. If I make it to this point and I can't maintain it, what am I gonna do? You're gonna prepare for it. That's what successful people do. They prepare. They prepare for things. Well, I'm afraid that you know people know my past. They know what I went through. They know what I had going on. Somebody gonna bring it up, and then people gonna be looking at me. Child, bro, everybody got a past. But it's behind you. Let's keep it moving, ma'am. Let's keep it moving, sir. The only reason why people pass haunt them is because they still keep on tapping in it. Your past and your used to is still now. Child, please. The big one, though. I'm afraid of the unknown. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. You're too nosy. You ain't got no business knowing that anyway. You on step two. You afraid about step five. Can we get step three first? You don't count like that. Two, five. Yeah, you in the class all day by yourself. That's what you get to do. You got one teacher all year. Quit playing. The field, the unknown, you, it, it's unknown. Okay? But we talk about how to address that too. Then you get to the one, oh, I just don't feel like I'm enough. You don't feel like you're enough for what? I just feel like, you know, nobody wants me and nobody's going to want what I have to offer and I'm not good enough. And So if you're afraid that you're not enough, then we cover that too. Because guess what? I've had every last one of the fears that I just talked to y'all about. 
I have. I'm going to be all the way real with you. That's what I do. I'm transparent with y'all. I've had every last fear that I just told y'all about. And I had to be able to conquer it. But when I say conquer it, it just means I had to learn to take fear and jump with it. I had to learn to take fear and jump with it. I did. But in that seven-day series, baby, we go through each one of the fears one day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. You're going to have different exercises you need to be doing. You're going to have action items you need to be doing. You're going to have a workbook that you can go along with that help you process the things that you're taught in the class. If you're on Instagram, you can click the link in my bio. And I think it's the first one. It's a seven-day fear series. Go ahead and copy your copy. Right? If you're on Facebook, then... Um, you just got a whooping in your ear. <laughs> Let me put the uh, link down here on Facebook. But I'm telling y'all, like, quit playing. Y'all out here can be, like, making major moves. But you're too scared to do it. You're too scared to do it. So I want to help you get over those fears and be able to make it do what it do. And dun, 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 if you are in, when do the series begin? It begins as soon as you sign up. It's automated. I've already, I did the training. You don't have cash app. It's okay, but this is the thing. When you click it to do the payment option, if you look right underneath it, in the uh, underneath the last part in that small writing, it says pay with a different card. It says pay with a different card. Nope, it's not Zoom. So because it says pay with a different card, you click that and then it'll allow you to do all your goodness. I wanted it set up in a way to whereas when people signed up, your seven days start then, right? So whenever you sign up, you'll get a confirmation email, and then you'll get an email that's going to be explaining everything that's going on in the class, how the class going to be popping off, and then it also gives you a link for you to be able to go to the master class, right? And that is one of the bonuses that I give you. You go into that master class, it's going to go through uh, some goodness for you or whatever, but then the following day, is when the seven-day series um, happen. In that first email, you will also have the link for your workbook. You can download your workbook or whatever, then you'll be able to go along with it. So you literally will have all seven days come to you starting the following day, one through seven. You're going to receive that email. The email is going to have your instructions and all that good stuff in it. You're going to have a link that's going to take you to the video training for that day. And you're going to also have the action items in the email that is telling you what you need to do. But the action items is in the workbook as well. And you're going to do that for seven whole days. Seven whole days. What up, though? You're going to do it for seven whole days. And when you guys go through your seven days, I want you to come and I want you to share your aha moment with me. I want you to let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what you got from it. Let me know how you see things different, if you see things differently. Let me know. Holla at your girl. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want y'all to do. But yeah, so it starts whenever you start, right? I used to do this series for $197. I'm doing the series for 47 bucks. That's it. You can get it for under $50. You can't beat it. Go ahead and make it do what it do. Get you something. Go ahead and you, you got to beat fair, man. You got to at least try to address it. You got to put some action steps in place. You got to be able to identify why I'm scared. What you scared for? Like a grandma would say, uh, sitting on the um, porch. What you scared for? Ask yourself that. You got to be able to address that core reason. 
And for y'all that's out here doing things or you're doing it just like somebody else and you're wondering why you're not getting results, it's because you are being a carbon copy of somebody else. Well, they said that we need to do A, B, and C. Yeah, they said you needed to do it, but they didn't say recite them. They didn't say do it verbatim. You just need to make sure that you are doing those things. You understand? If somebody come over there and they say, um, you need to make sure that you introduce yourself. Tell us why you're here, what you do, who you do it for. You understand? And then you get up there and say, my name is, this is what I do. This is why I do it. This is who I do it for. Just like they instructed you to do and you're using their tone, you're using their vernacular, you, you're not saying your words the way they do. It's not going to be the same, baby. Because the people that know you're going to be like, why are you talking like that? And then it's going to seem like it's an effort. You got to put effort to it. It is effortless for you to be yourself. It is effortless for you to be yourself. You got to learn to appreciate you. Use your own personality. Be able to go and do what it is you do. Just like even with me um, being a distributor, I'm not the only distributor. Guys, they got hundreds of thousands of distributors. We all have the same uh, literature. We all have the same products. We all talk about the same thing. But baby, nobody talk about it the way that I do. Nobody train on it the way that I do. Nobody educate on it the way that I do. People talk about it. People train. People educate, but not like me. Why? Because I do it the way that I do. And people are either going to be drawn to it or they're going to be detoured from it, one or the other. But it's not my business to focus on the ones who walk away. It's my business to nurture the ones who stay. Huh? How about it? We got any questions in the camp? Anybody got any questions? The floor is all yours. Hey, y'all. The floor is all yours, honey. You got to get out here and you got to make it happen. You got to do what you do. I can give y'all real quick. If there's something that you want to do and you're trying to figure out how to put yourself out there, you're trying to figure out how to get people drawn to you and how to build yourself and how to build your audience, your fan base, your followers, whatever you call it, your client base, whatever that is, you, and you want to do something like that, Put how in the comment bar and I'll tell you how. I'm going to give you one of the strategies. I'm going to give you one of the strategies. But if you got any questions, the floor is open to you. But if you ask me how, I'm going to give you a strategy. Ms. Wama said how. Sharon said how. What is that? KK said how. LG said how. Crystal said how. Angelica said how. Monty said how. We got a lot of them to say how. The price ends tonight at midnight. If I can't pay until tomorrow, how much will it be then? I'm going to keep, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to change it. Let me make sure who I'm talking to first, because I think you might have been one of the ones. Yep, Miss Michelle, for you. I'm going to go in there and change it. I'm going to let you be able to get it. Whoever. I'm going to let whoever be able to get it. So check it out, good people. What's up, Marta? What's up, gorgeous? So check it out. Four steps. Four steps. If you want to really... Um, Show up and show out. If you want to be able to build your um, impact, you want to build your influence, you want to be able to uh, build your engagement and all that kind of stuff, number one, put number one in the comment bar. I'm going to go through these four and we're getting up out of here. What's up? It's Miss Gina. What's up? Four steps. We up out of here. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. Watch the replay. <laughs> Watch the replay. So either you came in just now or you weren't listening. If you came in just now, we talking about how if you are a person that desires to 
build yourself, build a brand, build your company, build your influence, build a fan base, build a no like trust factor, that kind of thing. I'm telling you how to do it. I'm telling you how to do it. Number one, check it out. The first thing you need to do is identify the problem, period. That's the first thing you need to do. You came in just now, it's okay, Sugarfoot, we rocking it. But when you come in late, you just got to learn to, um, you know, listen and, and then, you know, go with the flow to see, what, <laughs> to see what's going on. That's like coming into church late and slamming the door at the back and going all the way across. Everybody, excuse me, excuse me, sit back there and sit on the end and stuff. <laughs> Number one, start off with the problem. Start off with the problem. People want a solution. When you start off talking about what got them uncomfortable, what got them trying to figure stuff out, what got them stuck, what got them, you know, um, you know, not not excelling, not doing whatever it is they need to do. You know what I'm saying? If I got on here right now, okay, we're gonna use the fifth series, right? I got on here and I said, fear has a way of crippling you. It has a way of having you over to, uh, out talk yourself. You'll start overthinking. You'll talk yourself out of things. You'll feel nervous about moving forward. You don't know how to feel. And then I go into the boom. I go into it. You you don't know how to feel. You don't you don't know. You like I'm afraid. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid of not having support. I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm afraid if I do do it and I'm successful, I won't be able to maintain that. Then I'm afraid I won't have the support because you really ain't got people to support you. I'm afraid that, you know, my past going to start showing up on me. Then go go through it. And then, like, hey, I'm afraid that, shoot, I ain't enough. Boom. I talked about the problem. I talked about the problem. I identified it. Then y'all going to be like, true. And if you don't relate to all seven of them, you're going to be like, man, I'm afraid of failing too. Somebody else going to be like, man, it is hard to be rejected. Somebody else going to be like, well, I'll do it and stuff. And, you know, I'm game for it, but I ain't got that support. You feel what I'm saying? So I identify the problem. I know the top seven fears. So I'm like, boom, 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 boom. That's the first step. Put number two for, um, num uh, for the second step. Put number two for the second step. And guys, you got to remember, whenever you do a, a automatic thing that's enrolled and whenever you get a series that's going to come to you automatically, if you got one day, you're going to get the next one. <laughs> it's not going to skip days. So whatever time you signed up, it's probably going to send it around that same time again. Make sure you check your junk mail, your spam, your promotional folder, and all that kind of stuff. Make sure that you check that. Number two, you already identified the problem, right? Now that you've identified the problem, you have a, a obligation now to make the, uh, like you have the domino effect. You know, whenever you hit one and then the rest of them fall down. So now you got to go in and you have to uh, make the, uh, you got to create the domino effect. What is that? So the domino effect is going to be this and that. Somebody put in the comment bar, this and that. This and that. And I'm going to tell you what this and that is. And this and that is the second and third step. Domino effect is the umbrella, but it has this and that in it. Somebody put this and that. Let me know that you're rocking with me. Boom, there we go. So when you, whenever you come with a domino effect, this is what you're going to do. You're going to give away, give an example, show that person how you were able to conquer that problem, how you were able to get to a solution, how you were able, you felt this way one time or many times. And because you felt this way, this right here happened, your domino happened, and it knocked down the rest of the fears that you had. I'm talking about fear. That's just my example. So when I come up and I tell you, <clears throat> I can remember a time that I was so afraid to do a thing. And I was afraid to, um, I was afraid to, 
or apply for a certain position that I wanted because I didn't feel like that they would see that I was enough. I didn't feel like I was enough and that I wouldn't be um, qualified to do it. But it, was, it wasn't until I had an interaction with somebody because whenever you have this experience, guys, listen to me, you have an interaction. You either have an interaction with a person, you have a guide, or you have something that comes to you that... Um, that uh, I call it God. I call it an intervention. Like it, it happens. You have an interaction with somebody, which is somebody that, you know, you can see it, it can be a teacher. It can be a person, you know, it can be a friend. It can be a coworker, whatever it is. You have an interaction or either you have a guide. That guide could be a, a audio, a trainer, a teaching, a book. Hey, mom, it, that's your guide. Or you can have an encounter. That's what I'm looking for. Not an a encounter. You have an encounter with something that you feel down in your shoulder. Nah, nah, nah. That's your domino effect, right? And it gives you your aha moment, right? And whenever that happens for you, you able to let them know, you know, and then I had an interaction with somebody who saw me and knew that I would be able to do it. And she helped me understand, like, Keita, why wouldn't you be able to do it? You're qualified. And although you haven't had the title of this role, but these are the things that this role requires and you've done this, 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 and this. So really you're already doing it. You just don't have the title. And I had my aha moment. You have to give people your aha moment and then you have to help them experience theirs. And then when I said this and that, this is where that comes in at, right? This is on the inside. It's the internal beliefs. So I told you, I felt like, you know, maybe I failed. Maybe I'm not good enough. So that's that internal belief that I had. So you got to address the internal beliefs. That's this. Now that, that is what is on the external. What is on the external? It's like, well, I would do it, but they've been doing it for this long and they probably ain't going to help me. Or I would do it, but the way that the system is set up, I would do it, but you finding something on the outside that you're convincing yourself of that won't work for you. You have this and that. This is on the inside. That is on the outside. Now, it is your job to help a person have the aha moment. Why? Because when you have the aha moment, it is going to knock the domino down and then this and that will fall too. And the person will see themselves as being able to do that thing that you once did. And then it's going to leave you to the last step, which is what? The solution. It's going to give you the opportunity now to present to them what you have to offer, to present that service, to present that product, to present that idea, to be able to present that solution. Now you're able to show them that they too can do it and they can use what you have to get it done. Katie, you shouldn't be this good, girl, but I'm glad you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Period. Baby, you got to come up with a, what's the problem? And see, that's why a lot of you guys keep on going back and forth with yourself, talking yourself out of stuff. And people, they ain't coming for this and they ain't wanting this. And then I did this and I did that. It's because you're doing way too much. When you have a conversation with a person, you need to be able to act. What's the problem? You need to be able to identify the problem. If you got 511 products, listen to me. This even for the ones with network marketing. Listen, y'all know, look, we got the Nutriburst. You already know what's good, right? You got the Blossom Me. You got the Harmony Drops. You got the Melody Drops. You got the, whew, you got the Resolution Drops. My God, you got the Harmony. You got the Alleviate. You got all these things, right? Listen to me. Although you may have a diverse portfolio of health and wellness products, why would you present somebody with all of it? Why would you present somebody with all of it and you don't know what problem they have? You got to open your mouth and ask questions, qualifying questions, so you can figure out what's your problem. Don't ask them like that, though. My God. What's wrong? What you feel like? What up, though? Huh? What's bothering you? However you talk, whatever you do, you find out what the problem is, then boom, 
Oh, that's your problem? Oh, okay then. I got you. Yeah, you got bad guts. You can't boo-boo. You be feeling some kind of way, you be cramping and you got IBS and all that kind of stuff. I got a solution for you. I'm going to, I know that I'm going to give you that tea. I also know, check it out. You don't just, you're not just regular constipated. Oh, baby. <laughs> it is, it is pressed down, shaking together and ain't nothing running over. Huh? <laughs> My God, you go through a whole bunch of stuff. And then I be feeling, you know, I got indigestion. I got, oh, you got all kind of stuff with yours. Because I know this, guess what I'm going to do? I'm not just going to give you any other detox teas. I'm going to give you the one with the CBD in it. Why? Because I know CBD is going to handle that uh, inflammation. I know it's going to handle the inflammation. So not only are we going to get them guts together, but we're going to help you feel relief. And we're going to help you with that internal pain as well. Boom. I know what your problem is. Baby, I'm going to tell you about my bad guts too. Because you got to understand I've been where you are. How am I going to help you understand that? I'm going to talk about my experience. I'm going to talk about the way I was feeling. I'm going to talk about how I felt like I was going into booty labor trying to have a bowel movement. Huh? And other people, they be like, oh my God, but baby to the ones who are locked up like prisoners in their gut, they gonna be like, tell me more. Sis, tell me more. They understand it. They already know. They already know what it feel like. They feel like you need to go and lay down after you done went to the bathroom. My God, they already know what it feel like to look back and be like, my God, I got to name it. <laughs> That's the size of a baby. I got to name it. You will be called Ducalicious. Huh? That's your name. My God, they already know what it is. So guess what? When I'm talking about my experience, I'm being transparent. I'm being authentic. They got to know, like, and trust you. Huh? So now that they know that that experience, we talking about this or that. Y'all be like, Nikita, you can't talk about a this or that. You can't be talking about this or that when you're talking about using the bathroom. I bet you I can. Watch me work. So the, this is on the inside of you, right? Well, I've been going through this since I was two years old. Your mama told you that because you didn't know nothing about that at two. But anyway, I've been going through this since I was two years old. I done tried everything. I done tried eating fruits and vegetables. They ate one apple and ate a plate of greens. That's all they did. But I ate fruit and vegetables. Then they tried me on that center. They tried me on... Ducalex, they talk, they try me on Colays, and they try me on all of these things. That's that this. This is the stuff you already tried, so in your head, it ain't gonna work. It won't work. That's this. And then that, that's on the outside, right? And then my mom and them, they ain't, you know, they don't use the bathroom regular either. And then, you know, um, I really, I don't even know if I'd be able to afford it like that anyway, because, you know, my money and stuff, that's the external. We're talking about this and that. See what we're talking about? So then here I come and I was like, you know what? Because I got family members, they went through gut issues too. But then at the same time, you know, you're talking about you eating fruits and you eating vegetables. Do you do it every now and again? Or was that something you was doing consistently? I had to learn that not only did I need to do better with my diet, but the biggest thing, I had to increase my water. I know you don't drink water like you're supposed to. And they looking at you like, uh-uh. <laughs> you got to increase that water, man. Because on the inside of you, we talk about internal. You got to increase that water so it will help lubricate your body. You in there with dry dookie. It want to come out but can't. It, that's what it's doing. That's what it's doing right there. Like your gut's dry. Ugh. That's why you ain't doing nothing. You need to increase your water so that it's stuck. The more water you put on there, it's going to help. But you over there, and I do the duke last, and I do the baby, them ain't finna help you do nothing. That's softening it up. That way, when you go in there and you drinking water and you doing all this other stuff, you over there, uh, I got diarrhea. No, that is residue. The mother load is up there. You can be constipated up high or down low. Y'all ain't know that, did you? Yeah, you're backed up. I'm helping you on the inside, baby. That's what I'm telling you. Somebody else said, do a fleece. Fleece, it, it'll get it from below. But if you stopped up up here, what you going to do? You going to drain the fleece. That's nasty. <laughs> so anyway, I'm telling you, I'm educating you, right? That's the internal, then the external. And baby, you can't, you can't look at what your mama, your aunt, and whoever else got going on. Because like at the end of the day, it's your body. All of us are created differently. All of us, uh, we, we, I mean, 
things react to us differently. And then that CBD, it's gonna go in there and it's gonna help. It's gonna help, you know, knock this stuff off. And, uh, you know, it's gonna help aggravate it. The tea itself, it detoxes you on a cellular level. So, I mean, baby, not only is it going to end your major organs and all this kind of stuff, so it's doing something totally different than what you used to. The other stuff might help you use the bathroom, but it ain't going to help you eliminate completely. That's what this going to do. And you're saying that you can't, I don't know, you don't know if you're going to be able to afford it. Baby, it's $2 a day. You go out to eat probably twice a day. So you eating up your relief. And you know what it's cheaper than? It's cheaper than a funeral. You know how many people done died from being backed up? Cause of death, dookie, period. It's gonna poison your system. Baby, I done talked about this and that. Then I turn around, I let them know, but baby, baby, when I drunk this tea right here, let me tell you something. I doubted it too. I didn't think it was gonna work either. I was so tired and aggravated of trying stuff. I was like, why not? So I'm going to ask you the same thing. Why not? Do you want relief? You want your skin to clear up? And I'm looking at their skin like, because I ain't going to say, oh, your skin is terrible, but this right here said, <laughs> you want your skin to clear up? You want people to be able to talk to you without holding their breath? Huh? You want people to be able to talk to you without holding their breath. Because, honey, if it ain't coming out this way, I promise you it's coming out this way. You ain't got no bad teeth in your mouth. Your mouth should not smell like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your mouth should smell like that. We're going to have to talk through the text message or through email. That's the safest thing for me. Now, you might not tell them that, but I'm just trying to tell you. They're, they're a nice way to tell people they need to, you know. Boom. I done talked about all of it. I done talked about the problem. I done put myself in the problem and then showed them how I was able to work through the problem. I talked about this and that. Then I gave a solution. Boom. There you go. But you have to understand this. You need something good for menopause. Mama, you ain't said nothing. We ain't said. Blossom me. I wouldn't be able to tell her this that she needs this natural supplement that's going to be able to help her with her hormonal imbalance, that's going to be able to help her with them private summers, you know, them hot flashes and stuff, to be able to bring her body to a homeostasis had I not known the products. And she said, oh, I need something for uh, menopause, and I'm telling her to get some CBD oil. What is you talking about, Keita? What is you talking about? I'm telling her, oh, get this vitamin, get Nutribur. Keita, what is you talking about? She said menopause. That got to do with the hormones and stuff. You, you feel me? So no matter how many products you have, I'm not telling you, oh, you got to throw away all products but one. I'm telling you to lead with one. And whatever problem that person presents, you know your product, so you go through your memory bank and say, ooh, this is what she need. And then you go through and you let them know what, what they need. Why? Because you are the solution to somebody's problem, my friend. You are the answer to a problem. That's what you are. You are somebody's results. Believe it or not, y'all, Believe it or not, baby, people pay me good money to give them them strategies. I'm telling you right now, they do. Because it's what I do. Y'all might not know it. But you do now. But you do now, baby. Did they help y'all? Did they help you? Say yes in the comment bar. If it didn't help you, listen to it again. If it don't help you after that, maybe it just wasn't meant for you, baby. Stop making stuff hard for yourself. Stop, get, stop counting yourself out before you even get in. Period. You are the answer to somebody's problem. I promise you that when you was yet in your mother's womb, what, baby, listen, people don't have plans for things or people that there's not a problem for or a result for. He said, I know the plans I have for you to prosper you as your soul prospers. When people have a plan for something, usually it means that there's something else they, they've already identified. Quit playing with me. You the solution to somebody's problem. Yep. You the aspirin to somebody's pain. And that's that on that. That's that on that. Our hearts and minds clear, type clear in the comment bar. 
All hearts and minds clear. Type clear in the comment bar. I thank y'all for hopping on to this Motivational Monday, baby. What if somebody asks you a question and you say you have to get back to them with that word? Yes. If you got to get back to them, that's what you do. It is better for you to go and get the right answer than just to give them anything because then they'll lose trust in you. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you for giving it. Oh, sure, baby. Sure, sure, sure. What's up, Catherine? Y'all make sure y'all copy all the copy of the seven day uh, How to Beat Fear uh, series. Yes. Yes, yes. Make sure you copy your copy. You can click the link down at the bottom. Uh, and right, made sense, right? If you're on Instagram, just click the um, link that's in the um in my um, profile. So y'all listen, December the 12th, I think, I'm going to be in Columbia, South Carolina. If you in Columbia or the surrounding area, they are actually going to have a live, uh, it's going to be live. It's going to be social distance and you know the seats are going to be very limited. But if you're not in Columbia, you can also get you a, um, a online ticket, like pay-per-view type thing or whatever. So I really would love for you guys to support it. I would really love for you guys to show up in good number and to be able to laugh and get excited and all that other good stuff. I would love for you to make it in the house if you are in the area and close enough. But if not, again, I would love for you guys to purchase your ticket so that you can um, enjoy yourself, okay? So, I'm not going to uh, hold you any longer. I'll be putting up more information about um, how to get a ticket as well, okay? Appreciate you so much. Love you, love you, love you. Remember, you are somebody, so am I. The Lord loves you, so do I. Now may the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent one from another. Here now and forevermore, we all say it. Amen. Amen and amen. I'm going to put the link up. Uh, my, I'm going to put up the whole thing on my uh, page. I didn't put it up in um, this one because um, um, whenever this continues to go on, people will still try to activate that link. Then they'll be saying, the link don't work. So I learned not to, not to put it in my uh, lives or whatever. But I will post it up on my um, social media platforms, and I will be sending out the link and all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving me, and I love you right back. Till next time, I'm out. My voice control the room. Oh, thank you. Weight loss, what you suggest? See, y'all be coming here at Benediction asking some questions. The CBD help with back pain? Lord, gee, I asked y'all if y'all have any questions. Yes, yeah, CBD helps with back pain. This is what you need to get for back pain. It's a CBD cream. It's called Alleviate. Any external pain, if it's your muscles, if it's your uh, your joints, anything like that, you need to get the Alleviate. Oh, you know what, y'all? They have a buy one, get one. You get a kit. It comes with the detox tea. It comes with the Nutriburst, you know, so you want to lose weight, you're going to do it with the detox tea. And everybody need that multivitamin, one tablespoon equivalent to 10 salads. You need to get you some. They got that for the Cyber Monday. I'll post that as well. Okay? Appreciate you guys so much. Yes, until we meet again.